What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 video. Yesterday, the full version of Unreal Engine 5.5 finally released. We got amazing new features, so let's take a look at the most important ones. First of all, we have one of the most important updates, which as you might know, is Megalites. Megalites is a new experimental feature that allows you to add hundreds of dynamic shadow casting lights to your levels, meaning that you can now light complete worlds without constraints or impact on performance. This is incredible, it's one of my favorite features. We already could play around with it on the preview, but now it's fully out. Still an experimental, but still. With that said, we have many improvements for characters and animations. The first one is insane. With the audio-driven animation for MetaHuman Animator, we can now generate high-quality facial animation from audio to quickly create convincing facial performance for your MetaHumans. So yeah, we can literally make our metahumans speak just from an mp3 audio file, which is insane. I also want to mention that Caleb, the creator of the game animation sample, shared an amazing state machine character which is identical to motion matching. I mean, can you tell the difference? What I mean with this is that an easier version of the game animation sample will come using the simple states, as we all know that which will be way better and efficient for many devs out there that still want that triple A look in their games, but without using motion matching, which is quite complex. This is not out right now, but it's coming soon. All right, let's get back to the 5.5 release features. Animation layers will now allow you to create motion on non-destructive layers for added control and flexibility, which means that it will be way easier to create animations and overall cleaner. I mean, Imagine this as just Photoshop layers. With that said, Muller Control Rig moves into beta, adding many quality of life improvements as improving the user interface to help build rigs faster. This is amazing news, we all love the Muller Control Rig. Then we got an amazing new feature, which is the multiple customizable characters and meshes, which is in beta. This generates dynamic skeleton meshes, materials and textures at runtime for creating character customization systems and dynamic content, which means that creating and customizing characters in Unreal is now easier than ever, like removing clothes from clipping through meshes or changing the character's shoes. The skeletal editor is now production ready, with general improvements and visual feedback updates which is amazing. This editor allows you to add bones into meshes, customize them, and much more, it's literally insane. The sequencer brings many improvements also, for example enabling you to control your view of content within a sequence, gain easier access to properties, and filter viewport by sequence contents. Basically, easier control of the sequencer for cinematics. With that said, we have many improvements to rendering and lumen. I already mentioned Megalize, which is the big feature, but for example, we have news for Path Tracer, which has many improvements and is finally supported for Linux, which is really cool. Now, I don't know who really uses Unreal Linux, but <laughs> hey, it's out there, right? Now, there are many more features added to Unreal Engine 5.5, but in this video, I just wanted to highlight the main ones focusing on game devs. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so with that said, check them out. Now, yes, with all I said, bye-bye.